Welcome back to Marvelous Videos. I'm Rylan. With his distinctive green skin, wild orange hair, and a bunch of unique physical attributes, Blanca may seem human and animal, but he's much more than that. With a heart and personality that's more human than most humans, and the ability to discharge 150,000 volts of electricity, Blanca is a force to be reckoned with. His green, Hulk-like skin is often compared to, well, the Hulk, but that would be wrong because they share anatomies that are miles apart. Blanca's anatomy plays a pivotal role in his gameplay mechanics and can contributes to his compelling character design. So, in today's episode, we will delve into the anatomy of Blanca, exploring the features that make him a formidable street fighter. Let's begin, shall we? Actually, before we get into our explanation, we do just have one very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is just one small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thanks! Now, let's begin. How does he look like? If there's one physical characteristic that truly sets Blanca apart from his colleagues in the Street Fighter games, it is his Hulk-like green tan. Although Blanca's green pigmentation was not the result of being subjected to gamma radiation, when he was initially introduced to the game, his backstory had him grow in the dense jungles of Brazil. In order to blend in with his immediate environment, Blanca started to consume chlorophyll, the green pigment that gives plants their green color. Eventually, the chlorophyll left a pigment mark on his body, leaving him green. But this backstory changed when Blanca Blanca came to the US through Street Fighter 2. In this story, the criminal organization known as Shadaloo wanted to kill a minister by crashing his plane in Japan. Unfortunately, Blanca was also aboard the same plane. In a horrific turn of events, the plane found itself inside an electrical storm that got struck by lightning. The impact mutated Blanca and turned his skin color green. But Street Fighter 2 brought in yet another change. Instead of being completely green, as he was envisioned in the artwork, Blanca was given a yellowish green pigmentation. He also had unique, vivid orange hair that made this child-loving fighter look extremely intimidating. Wait, okay, by child-loving, I mean that he was nice to children, and that he loved them in the most innocent manner possible. But in the later iterations, however, his skin color turned into the regular all-green color. In the fifth installment of the game, his hair was considerably longer, and wilder as well, and it even grew out of his chest and limbs. Among the various costumes that Blanca wears, I suppose my personal favorite has to be his Aztec-themed garb. It comes along with an eagle helmet, a shield on his left arm, and a large medallion around his neck. Neck. How can Blanca generate electricity? Blanca possesses the ability to generate and manipulate electricity. Some of the other characters can very well generate fire and flames, but there's no real-life connection with something like that. However, there are many earthly creatures, like eels, that do produce electricity. So, Blanca's ability is a distinct aspect of his gameplay mechanics and adds to the complexity of his fighting style. But how did he get this ability? According to the established narrative, Blanca's exposure to a high level of electrical energy during the plane crash that altered his physical appearance led to a mutation in his body. This mutation granted him the power to generate and discharge electrical currents. The exact mechanism by which Blanca produces electricity is not clearly described in the game's canon. However, it is commonly believed that his electrical abilities are a result of the unique composition of his body. Blanca's green skin is hypothesized to contain a higher concentration of conductive materials, or even special cells that allow him to store and channel electricity. This can all be considered to be the direct result of the mutation he suffered after getting engulfed in the electrical storm. There are several different button combinations that unleash Blanca's various electrical attack moves. By harnessing his electrical powers, he can attack with electrically charged projectiles, electric shocks, and electrified spinning attacks against his opponents. How much electricity would Blanca generate? The extent of Blanca's electrical capabilities in the Street Fighter universe is clearly a matter of speculation and interpretation. I mean, you can't really come to a worthy conclusion, mostly because he's a fictional character and all. Having said that, we can still make some estimations based on some real-world references and general knowledge of electricity. One comparison often made is between Blanca and an electric eel, a fascinating aquatic creature known for its ability to produce electric shocks. Electric eels can generate shocks of up to 860 volts, and even one amp 
shock for a brief duration. These shocks are produced by specialized organs that house electricity-producing nerves, or muscles called electrocytes, which function similar to batteries in their stacked configuration. Considering Blanca's large size when compared to an electric eel, one might assume that he could produce a greater amount of electricity. However, it is essential to note that electric eels have three dedicated organs, which account for almost 75% of their body mass. For instance, even a 40-pound electric eel might have 30 pounds of those electrically specialized electrocytes. For the sake of this discussion, let's just assume that he possessed similar specialized organs. So, hypothetically, he might have the capacity to generate electricity in proportion to that of a fully grown electric eel. If we consider Blanca's hypothetical measurements as 5 foot 9 and weighing approximately 230 pounds, well, Blanca could generate shocks ranging from 4,500 to 5,000 volts at 1 amp. To explore an alternate estimation, let's now consider the visual depiction of Blanca's electrical attack in comic book style illustrations. By observing the size of the electric arc surrounding Blanca, we can infer a rough estimate of the voltage he might be producing. Based on the rule of thumb for DC voltage overcoming air resistance, approximately 7,500 volts is needed to cover a distance of one inch. It is important to note that environmental factors like humidity, pollution levels, wind, dirt, and voltage gradient can affect these estimations. Assuming a conservative estimation of the electric field extending around Blanca is three to four inches, with transient spikes potentially reaching eight to 10 inches, it is possible that he could generate voltages ranging from 22,000 to 30,000 volts DC. And yet, few sources suggest that for his electric thunder attack, he could generate a voltage as high as 150,000 volts. Now that is shocking. Blanca! Blanca belongs to which species? Why is he green? Well, Blanca, of course, is very much human. I think I made that abundantly clear early in the video. But why was there a need to make him green and everything? Well, this guy used to be just another human character in the game, and the first one from Brazil. But I guess the game creators felt that all humans and no weird dudes make Street Fighter a boring game. So they turned the Brazilian fighter into a green monstrosity that was basically Marvel's Hulk, but with electricity. And just so you're aware, Blanca was a child when he met the tragedy aboard the plane. He got separated from his mother and lived in the jungle, feeding off chlorophyll and whatnot. During this time, he needed to blend in with his environment, to fend off predators, and to camouflage. However, Blanca does get reunited with his mother later on, so essentially this guy is all human, but a mutated green one who can produce electricity. Hey, you, you okay? Does he have human emotions? Blanca, despite his feral appearance, exhibits a range of emotions. That is probably more humane than most humans. He typically has a passive and docile demeanor. He values family connections, friendships, and enjoys the company of children. However, when provoked or angered, Blanca's behavior transforms, resembling that of a hungry wild animal released from its cage. And may God bless you if you are on the receiving end of this ferocious and predatory rage. Throughout the different versions of the game, the character evolves, and Blanca develops more and more of the limited resource that we like to call common sense and caution. He eventually becomes less feral and a more level-headed counterpart to the hot-tempered Dan Hibiki. Speaking of Dan, Blanca is portrayed as Dan's true friend, possibly alongside Sakura, so much so that Dan consistently addresses Blanca by his birth name, Jimmy. Is he more powerful than the Hulk? My friends, have no confusion. Hulk would probably use Blanca's mane as toilet paper after he was done excreting Blanca's remains. I mean, when you think of his track record, Hulk has literally held two planets together. He's defeated the strongest of Marvel superheroes, and he can literally jump between two continents. But wait, he can also jump into the orbit and throw people from the Earth to the moon. So I guess the short answer is no. Blanca is not more powerful than our big guy who loves to smash. Marvelous Verdict In conclusion, Blanca, the electrifying and enigmatic character from the Street Fighter, has a various curious backstory and a personality to match. He is somewhat like a coconut, hard on the outside, but all soft and nourishing on the inside. I don't imagine there are very many fighters from the initial days of Street Fighter that can share these same characteristics. Can you think of anyone else? Well, let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Until next time, I'm Rylan. Have a good one, be safe.